Hello, welcome back to the We Are City channel. Back again with our Manchester City career mode into Season 2. We've started really well after five games around 12 points. One point behind league leaders Liverpool and current Premier League champions from Season 1. We kick off uh, some transfer news this episode because Cole Palmer looks to be going to the Bundesliga to play for Bayer Leverkusen on loan till the end of the season. Seems like a good move for Cole Palmer, similarly in style maybe to Kai Havertz, someone like that, to go there, 74 rated, maybe come back 75, 76 rated, maybe even more by the end of the season. Patrick Roberts have expect, uh, accepted a 4.9, nearly 5 million offer from Burnley for him. He's rejected a move for PSV over the transfer window, so that sounds like a good one. And big money moves could be finally happening. Bernardo Silva could finally get his move away from Manchester City and to Spain with Real Madrid. They We've offered 100.7 million for Bernardo Silva. Now, it does say we could get 126.7. The money isn't an issue for us. We want to give Bernardo exactly what he wants, and that is a move to Spain. So we will sell Bernardo Silva to Real Madrid if he accepts the transfer, which I expect him to do so. And today's episode kicks off with a game against West Ham away from home, going to the London Stadium. Well, the side against West Ham sort of picks itself today. So, Stefan starts in goal, Cancelo, Diaz, Laporte, and Zinchenko in the back four. Roderick, Grealish, and Kevin De Bruyne in the midfield three. It's Jesus on the left, Stone on the right, and Alexander Isak, our top goal scorer through the middle. On the bench, we've got Foden, Mares, Gundogan, Phillips, Walker, Stones, Edison. Like I said, the side is pretty much picked due to fitness. I want to get Tierney in being our first choice uh, pretty soon. Maybe Maxence Lacroix as well. Stones and Walker, a bit of, you know, content the same as Gundogan, not playing as many games, perhaps as the others in and around the squad, but that is purely because we, we can't put them in at the moment. They would have started today, maybe Walker or Stones will start today, but due to the sharpness and fitness, they don't. So here at the London Stadium for West Ham United versus Manchester City, and the rules floats around, don't they? Uh, West Ham's old stadium, Hudson Park, always did this as well, sort of a tradition really, a bit of an odd tradition, I think. But um, English football is sort of used to it now. It's been going on for so long. And West Ham, some good players in there. And that man on the banner right there, Mikel Antonio, he's the key man to look out for today. Well, I think, personally, I'd, I'd love if they put Maxence Lacroix in there against Antonio. I think he would have kept Antonio quiet. We can't do that. So it is Diaz and Laporte, but I'm sure they will do a job against Antonio today. The only problem is maybe the pace. So this is the West Ham side. Morales is the goalkeeper. Clinton Mata, Kurt Zuma, Adeolo and Cresswell are back four. You've got Suchek and Fabian Ruiz in the midfield. Three, Ruben Vargas, Flashic and I think it's Solomon in behind Mikel Antonio. Masuaku, Bowen, Ben Rama, Malinowski, uh, Bowen, Soufal. I mean, that's a lot of change this West Ham side. They made some big changes, haven't they, here of West Ham. Looking to maybe get towards a top four finish pretty soon. And we're off here. And Alexander Izak's already won the ball back. What a sign he has been so far. Well, Grealish has picked this up after his Inchenko win. And here's Jack Grealish into Kevin De Bruyne. And De Bruyne through to Jack Grealish. But it's actually Gabriel Jesus. And Jesus into Isak. And Isak unselfishly into Sterling. And Sterling can't get the end of that one. Maybe could have gone for a shot there, Isak. I know he is left-footed. That was a great chance. But look at that. Pace. Setter. Projected goals. 45. The, the, the competition record is 32 in the Premier League, but Alexander Izak is on for 45 goals this season if he keeps up his current rate, which I very much doubt he will. He has a stepped out defence towards Mikel Antonio. Cancelo, great win back, and Cancelo into Alexander Isak. And Isak, he does not miss Isak. You give him a chance, and this big man will score. 1 0 Manchester City. Mistake by, I think it was the left back, Cresswell. Gives it away to. Cancelo who's pressing high. I mean, the, the whole team is pressing high. And when you win the ball back so easy like that, straight into Isak. He had Grealish, he had Jesus, but this man's got an eye for goal, hasn't it? And he's scored another one now for Manchester City. Goal number seven in six games this season. I think he's probably been a better addition than Erling Collin could have been. I think purely because of his technical ability, Isak is a much better dribbler. I think so much better on the ball. His link-up play is probably better than Haaland. Good pass here. Over the top they go again to Vlacic. You had a pretty good moment against Cancelo earlier on in the game. He's had to go back this time though. Vargas. So check. Laporte with the interception. Stefan down to pick that one up. 31 minutes gone. Still 1 0. Away from Zinchenko. Fabian Nuis. What a sign that is from Napoli. Vargas with a strike from range. Good save from Zach Stefan. 
Our defence feels pretty solid. You're going to need wonder goals or really good play to get round us. Jesus, no nonsense from Jesus. Fair enough. Could have took that on his chest and lumped that away. Probably should have done. Cross in here. Cancelo away this time. Here's Jack Grealish. Grealish. Away from Vargas. And the referee won't let us counter. That's our time. One that we lead here at the London Stadium against West Ham. De Bruyne. De Bruyne with a hit. Morales with a save. De Bruyne tests the goalkeeper. Probably only the second time we've tested the goalkeeper today. Grealish with a swing in. Isak with a header. Alexander Isak over the bar. Just get a few chances, doesn't it? Maybe he doesn't finish every single one, but he, he finishes the one that matter. Oh, Rodri's out of position there. So check. West Ham cutting us open a little bit here. Vlachic. Chance. Oh, good save from Stefan. It's a brilliant move from West Ham. He's offside. First time they've got him behind us here. Really. Rodri out of position, and that's when you get caught out. Jesus. Into Cancelo. Mitchell out. Cancelo. Oh, Isak. Takes it in his stride, Isak, and he hits the post. Maybe should have made it 2-0 there. I'd say Grealish really hasn't been so involved today. Oh, here he comes. Back into De Bruyne. Isak turns. Isak with a shot. Blocks away. Mahrez with a tackle. Maybe that was a bit silly from Riyad Mahrez. Gerard Bowen's coming on for West Ham now. It's only 1-0, but I do trust our defence a little bit more this season. Getting back for his side. Ball through to Bowen here. The poor chases. We're opening up a little bit here. Vlacic. West Ham work it further wide. Cresswell pulls it back. Still a chance. Oh, and it's a slam into the top corner. I think it's Malinowski. That's frustrating. Alexander Isak caused that. He caused that, really. Oh, it's Vargas. I mean... It's just a ridiculous hit again. But, I mean, what can Stefan do about that, really? I won't say it's his fault. Rodri, good header. De Bruyne. Mares. Isak. Through to Mares. Mares! Good save from Morales. I mean, I hit that with power. And he saved that from really, really close. Really shin. Isak in there! Well, he makes up for his mistake, doesn't he? He doubles his tally for the day. Another goal for him, this time from the corner. What can this man not be able to do? He can create chances. He can score chances. Head, foot, doesn't matter to him. He's in and around the box. Swing in from Jack Grealish. And a header from Alexander Isak. I mean, he's all over the defender there. Looked like a foul to me. We're going to bring Calvin Phillips on for Radri. I think that's a really good substitution, actually. Good goal from Alexander Isak. Two on Manchester City. Eight goals for him now and back on course for three points, which is the big one for today, really, isn't it? West Ham have scored a good goal, yes, but we're keeping the goals down, not conceding three or four. There is still one minute left. Gresswell, Weldon Cancelo again. Isak, Mares. They might have a counter on here to finish this game. Riyad Mares into Isak. Isak. Oh, referee. Could have made it 3 1 there. He blows his whistle. He kills the counter-attack. But three points for us. And Alexander Isak is on the goal sheet again. We've improved our defending. But we've also improved our striking position with Isak, haven't we? And that's just changed this team completely so far this season. So it's Champions League action now. We go away to Russia to face Lokomotiv Moscow. And again, we will simulate. So this aside for Moscow today, Edison starts and goes. It's Walker, Stones, Laporte and Tierney in the back four. Roderick, Gundogan and Grilish in the midfield three. Foden on the left, Stern on the right and Ferran Torres through the middle on the bench. We've got Isak who will come out I think for Gabriel Jesus. We've got Mahrez, Bernardo Silva, Calvin Phillips, Lacroix, Diaz and Stefan on the bench. Edison back in there but only for this Champions League game. He will be back out for the Premier League game. Well not too many no names in that locomotive mascot side. I think the only one that stands out is maybe Zilouis who is a Brazilian striker I think. And Yedvai, Croatian fullback who did play some time for Bayer Leverkusen I believe. And he's straight in the attack here with Walker, Gundogan, Jack Grealish, Phil Foden. Back to Grealish and Moscow get it away. Here's Sterling. Look at the space again. Ferran Torres in the box and Ferran should score. Acres of space. No one with him. Into Ferran. Stones again. Gundogan with a hit. And Ilkay Gundogan. I think he swivels and puts that in the top corner with his left foot. But well, we are dominating 
locomotive Moscow possession wise chances wise but that doesn't mean anything and Pablo gets a goal for Moscow here's Mares. Mares! oh just wide past the post by the Algerian I thought he was about to swing one into the top corner there or at least onto the head of Ferran Torres switch a play to Kyle Walker Mares. can't keep that one in Riyad Mares. Rodri wins it back on the edge of their box it's not enough and that is full time oh it's not a free kick actually we're going to jump in. I think Ferran's already hit this. Straight into the keeper's hands. Well, I was hoping that we get a chance to do something in this game. But it's a 1-1 draw away in Moscow. A point in the Champions League match day two. Big point for them. I think that's something we're not going to be too worried about come later stages of this Champions League group stage. Well, confirmation here. Bernardo Silva will move to Spain and will join... The central side, the capital. He will go to the capital of Spain. He will play for Real Madrid next season. I think that's a good move for him. One he's obviously wanted. And good luck to him. He deserves a big move. He deserves the move he wants in a, a better location for him and his family. So, perfectly happy with that. And uh, we've got too many midfielders anyway, probably. Next, we welcome Aston Villa to the Etihad Stadium. They're in seventh position. Had a decent season last year. And Jack Grealish will face his former employers. So this is a side for Villa today. Stefan starts in goal. It's Cancelo, Diaz, Lacroix and Zinchenko in the back four. Phillips, De Bruyne and Phil Foden starts in the middle today. I could play Bernardo Silva ahead of him, but Bernardo is moving. So, you know, every time our player will take, you know, priority over theirs. Someone else is anyway. Jay's on the left-hand side. Riyad Mahrez on the right-hand side. And, of course, Alexander Isak through the middle of the bench. We've got Ferran Torres, Sterling, Bernardo Silva, Rodri, Kieran Tierney, Stones and Edison, Walker, Laporte, Gundogan. And Grealish miss out today. Now, I know Grealish would probably want to play against Villa today, but he's just not going to get in there. His sharpness is down, and we need to give other players a chance. However, he is a little bit sharper than Ferran Torres, so we'll get him on the bench. Why not? So, a lovely panoramic view here of the Etihad Stadium. Full with City and Villa fans today. For, I think, second we are versus seventh in Aston Villa. Well, this is a Villa side I expect to have been improved upon over the summer. Let's see how that pans out. So, Emi Martinez in goal. It's Tanganga from Spurs. Consa Mings and Ashley Young in the back four. McGinn, Douglas Luiz and Conor Hurriham in the midfield three. And it's Leon Bailey, Danny Ings and Bogdonga up front. Uh, they've got Jed Steer, Buendia, Watkins, Bruno Correa from us. Nakamba and Davies on the bench. Interestingly enough, no Romeo Lavia on the bench, but Bruno Correa is. So, clearly the right Correa header of Lavia. And maybe we need to bring Lavia back from his loan if he's not going to get game time Aston Villa because that's something that's important for his development as a player so Manchester City versus Aston Villa I suspect this is going to be a tough one actually because they're quite a good side it's live from the Etihad Stadium 37 year old Ashley Young there making Mares looking slow which is a bit of a worry for Mares. does feel like he's slowing down here, here he is Mares across the far post Isak is there and oh what a finish what a finish from Isak. He's unbelievable. He's absolutely unbelievable. I mean, he's only 86 rated, but I can see this man being 90 rated easily by the end of the season. Swung in from Mares. And Isak, acrobatic volley. He comes off the inside of the post. He's hit it with power. Very, very narrow angles. Get away from Jaffre Tanganga. Martinez can't keep it out. 1 0 Manchester City. 9 in 7 now for Alexander Isak. He's firing on all cylinders, is this Swede. Absolutely. And one there will lead Villa straight away. I think no one else scoring the goals for us at the moment. Just this man. Diaz with interception. Oh, and then a foul. I don't know why he's fouled him there, but he has done, Ruben Diaz. And he's going to be told off here not to do that again. I don't even know what I did. I didn't mean to do it. And Leon Bailey, can he test Zach Stefan here from range? Quite possibly. Bailey with a hit. Stefan made that look a bit more to hard work than it probably was. Leon Bailey's playing some really short passes to his team. Oh, and great tackle by Lacroix. The guy is just so good. I knew he would be. Mares. Oh, he's fouled by Tyrone Mings. Free kick Manchester City. Good swift feet from Mares there. Just not the player he once was, unfortunately. Bowden. Isak. Little back heel. Mares! Oh, good save from Martinez. Good chance. De Bruyne with a swing in. Isak there. Cleared away. Mares down to Calvin Phillips. 
Back into Mares. De Bruyne. Out to Jesus. Foden. Phillips on the volley. Calvin Phillips just wide, but he's offside anyway. Zinchenko. Foden. Jesus. Isak. Little back heel into Foden. Lays it off. Kevin De Bruyne with a hit. Oh, what a goal that is. Beautiful team football. Isak, Foden. Mares, Zinchenko. Jesus all involved. And it's Kevin De Bruyne who puts it in the back of the net at the end of it. Mares switched out to Zinchenko. Zinchenko taps it down. To Jesus. Jesus into Isak. Into Foden. A little layoff. De Bruyne with a hit. De Bruyne with a power. And they run into the back of the net. 2-0 Manchester City. And I'm right in the stroke of half-time. Is it? A bit longer? No, right in the stroke of half-time. We double our lead. We've got a clean sheet as well. And need to improve a little bit. Phillips has been a bit sloppy. But we look strong defensively. Lacroix and Diaz together. Mares, De Bruyne. Falling behind to Isak. Isak with the right foot. Good save by Martinez. Good chance again, though. This one's going to go towards Jesus, or is it Isak who's in there? Phillips takes it down. Diaz. Phil Foden! What a finish from Phil Foden from that right-hand side. 3-0 City. Great start to the second half. We're tearing Villa apart here. Phil Foden with the goal this time. Phillips knocks it down. Diaz wide to Foden. Assist for Diaz, actually. And Foden bends that off the bar and in. Martinez had no chance. I mean, we'll see it from this angle. The curl on this one. Uses Mings' his legs. Just bend it round him. What a finish from Phil. Side netting and all. Been very, very impressed with us this season. I know we had that little blip against Chelsea where we felt like we'd gone back to the previous season. But we're back up and running how we expect to be. Phillips. De Bruyne. Mares. He's on, is he? He is on, Mares. Back into De Bruyne. Isak on the turn, Isak with a hit and what a finish, what a finish, on the turn, smashes it in, so so easy, 4-0, we're still on, I, what I don't understand is we haven't changed the game mode, we're still on legendary, I, I can prove it to you guys, I haven't changed the sliders, nothing is different, but we've changed the tactic slightly, we've brought in a few more players and I'm actually, I'm sort of used to the game now, it did take me a full season, but now I was going to come on for Phil Foden. We, we, it has taken a full season for us to really get the way we want to play. But now that's working. That's really working. Uh, Foden off of Bernardo Silva. He will be joining Real Madrid, we know. But Foden's getting tired. But yeah, we, we, I've just sort of got used to the game finally. It did take a while. And it was frustrating. It took so long, actually. Well done, Zinchenko. Into Phillips. There's Lacroix getting involved. Lacroix plays it in behind to Isak and Alexander Isak. Oh, what a goal. What a, this guy is this this guy is insane. This guy is absolutely insane. I, I cannot believe it. How has he scored from that angle? How has he put the ball in the back of the net from that angle? His, his sharpness, his confidence, everything. He's sky high. That's a hat trick, I think. Maxon's Lacroix comes forward. Like Virgil van Dijk plays it in behind to Isak. And I mean, what a goal. To beat a keeper like Emi Martinez from that angle. That's shocking goalkeeping, by the way. That is shocking goalkeeping. What a goal from Isak. We've got to take him off. He's He's got his goals now. Sterling's going to come on. And Jesus can go up top. Good tackle by Cancelo. Back out wide anyway. Leon Bailey. Good block by Maxence Lacroix. Chance again. Keenan Davis. Blocked by Diaz. Pride in defending here from these boys. Let's keep it that way. Diaz away. Brilliantly done. And he chases his clearance. And that is full time. Manchester City 5. Villa nil. Fantastic performance. And a hat-trick for that man. Alexander Isak. What a signing. What a signing he has been. So our next game is Bournemouth away. 19th place Bournemouth in the Premier League. A game we will simulate before going in the Champions League. I think at home against a strong side. Italian side Lazio. Won a quick sim against Bournemouth. We come away with a 2 1 win. I think it's the Liberty Stadium. Gabriel Jesus with a goal in the sixth minute. Followed up by Morgan Rogers, a player on loan from us at Bournemouth in the 68th minute. And Ilkay Gundogan gets us a winner in the 86th. Massive win thanks to Ilkay. But we do go away today to Italy to face top of our group Lazio. They're on six points. We're on four. 
with a tough challenge ahead of us against Enzaghi's side. This aside for Lazio today, Edison starts and goes Walker Diaz, Lacroix and Tierney in the back four, Rodri, De Bruyne and Grealish in the midfield three, Foden on the left, still on the right and Alexander Isak through the middle on the bench. We've got Ferran Torres, Riyad Mahrez, Gundogan Phillips, Cancelo, Laporte and Zach Steffen. So a Champions League night in Italy against Lazio here today and interestingly enough I do think there is a player on loan from us in the Lazio side. I do believe Kaiki could be starting for Lazio and what a better chance to get a first hand experience of him and what a good loan for him to be playing first team Champions, fo fo Champions League football for a team like Lazio against Manchester City against us. I think it's a brilliant move for him actually and um, seeing him in that starting 11 which I think he will be in just makes it even better. That is if he's in the starting 11. He was only in the predicted lineup before the game. So this is the Lazio side. As we expected, the number 10, Kaiki, is in that team with Pedro Iconi, Stepanenko, Lazari on the bench with Stokrosher in goal, Hussain, Botman, Luis Felipe and Tagadifico in the back four, Basic, Tielemans and Milinkovic Savic in the midfield three and it's Johnny on the left, Kaiki on the right, number 10 and Chiro Immobile through the middle but Kaiki there up against Tierney today. What a, what a standoff between those two players. Manchester City versus Lazio and it is live from Italy. Here's Immobile. Good start from Lazio. Immobile! And what a start from Lazio. Edison can't keep that one out. I think it was a couple of players. Diaz and I think um, Lacroix was involved here. Wrong side of Immobile. Edison's not looking good at all at the moment to be honest with you. Not at all is Edison looking. Like he should be our number one. We've played in the Champions League games, but I mean, Stefan might have to start them at this rate if he keeps on like this. Immobile with a goal. He's first in the Champions League and we're 1 0 down. What a terrible start. That's the Manchester City of old. That's the Manchester City of last season. Not what I want to see from Kyle. And if he wants to get in this first team header, you know, Drow Cancelo. Ball through to Immobile. Here we're getting torn apart here. Good save from Edison. Well, Lacroix and Diaz have not turned out today like they usually do. I don't know if Kyle Walker's the. The one who's breaking that down, or Tierney. This is a really poor start. Walker. Through to Grealish. Great pass. Grealish. Grealish. Grealish! Good save by Strakosha, but he wins a corner. The game's way too open. Bones not quite offering him the chance here on the wing. Tierney, good turn. Great play. Tierney with the swing in anyway. Luis Felipe away. Gibroni and Savic. Cancelo. Not on today, it's Walker actually. Isak. Foden with a right foot shot, blocked away. Foden there ahead of the defender. Rodri away, chance here, good block by Ruben Dias. Isak into Foden. Oh, he's lost it. Chance, good save by Edison. Kaiki. Savic. Immobile. Oh, what a goal. 2 0. Johnny with a goal. But when they play higher quality opposition, they're getting us, aren't they? Like against Chelsea. Walker positioning, not happy with that. I dived in to try and block it. But Johnny puts it in the top corner. It's pointless having Edison in the goal because he does nothing. He sat. Rodri in there. He has away again. De Bruyne. He sat. Oh, it's a big game, this. And we're performing poorly. Here's Grealish. Into Phil Foden. Foden. Over to Sterling. Oh, good defending. Nearly give away a penalty. But he took the risk. Foden. Tierney. Isak. De Bruyne. Foden. Ooh, he's tried to bend that to the far post. It's a difficult technique, but he's given it a go. Foden gives it away to Savage. De Bruyne in there. Turning to Grealish, that's going to be half time. 2 0 down, we find ourselves. Shocking performance against the Italian side. I don't think they're Italian champions. I think it was. Um, who was it won, won Serie A last season? I can't remember, but Immobile is having a fantastic performance. I mean, everything they've done is right. Everything they've done, played their style of play, counter attack, and it's worked really well for them. Grealish. Why to Phil Foden? Foden. Foden. Into Sterling, well done Strakosha. Good save, it's saying Isak for Ferran Torres. I'm actually thinking 
They're bringing Ferran on the right hand side actually. Cross comes in here. Holding in there. Holden Walker. Holden, Rodri and Ferran. Ferran's got a point to prove here. Try and get in this first team. Ferran. Really sure. Good save by Strakosha. Ferran Torres there. Involved. Bacic is coming off. Got to get these crosses into Diaz and, and people. And Rodri. And Isak of all people. And he just scores for fun. Has he scored in every single game he started? Or at least been on the field. Every time he's on the field he scores for us. 2-1. You can curb your celebrations because it's only 2-1. Swinging from De Bruyne. Really good header from Isak. Up. Past Rikosha Into the far post. 2-1 back in this game. He has a cross. Cross comes in. It's a free man. Oh, good block by Lacroix. Why is Milinkovic Savic allowed to arrive? And just be the free man on the edge of the box. No one in and around him. Edison. Good catch by Edison. Grealish. Theony. De Bruyne! Oh, what a save from Strakosha. What a save. Oh, Walker's hit one. They meant for a tackle. He won it and hit it. What a save by Strakosha from Kevin De Bruyne. Grealish. Into Tierney. Back into Grealish. Foden. Grealish. What a ball. Grealish off the bar. Off the bar from Grealish. How we haven't levelled it here, I don't know. Grealish. Nisak. Good run from Ferran. Ferran Torres. Ferran. Grealish. Oh, how the hell has Grealish not scored there? Grealish. Trying to rescue a point here. Grealish. Got bodies with him. Into Foden. Brilliant way to pass. Phil Foden. Bursting forward here. Phil Foden. Foden. Ferran with a tap in. Ferran Torres with a goal. 2 2. Whew. Stressful. We know we've, we've taken so many chances to score. Ferran Torres, I knew he'd come on and score. He's got that about him. Foden for Mares. Why not? Cross the box. Ferran with a tap in. Foden's going to come off. Mares comes to the right hand side. We've got one more sub as well. I'm thinking Cancelo for Walker. I don't want to, do, to get a defeat in this game, by the way. That would be a really bad way to end the game if we were to lose this game 3-2 now. We've pulled it back to 2-2. We've shown the fight that we know we've got. Holden, Rodri, Grealish, Ferran. Two minutes of added time and we're on the counter here. Here's De Bruyne. Over to Isak. Not it away. Grealish. Oh, it's a bad pass by De Bruyne, wasn't it? It was the wrong pass and that finishes the game. 2-2, a draw away in Italy. Another draw in the Champions League, which I'm not too happy about, but another three points. He will go through in this group. It's whether we finish top, dependent on that return fixture against Lazio. He played fantastically, Milinkovic Savic in the midfield, but they crumbled in that second half. We should have won that game. We had the chances, and we didn't. So as we go into our final game of the episode, you can see there we sit top of the Premier League table on 21 points. In second place is Leicester City on 20. In third place, Liverpool, who were former top, on 19. And Manchester United in fourth place and 16. The side we face today is Derby Day. We welcome our local rivals, Manchester United, to the Etihad to try and pick up three points. Well, since that game against Lazio was so recent, we've had to go with a heavily rotated side due to tired legs in today's game. We've changed the formation up a little bit. Perhaps you'd say, don't do that, but I want to do that because I am a little bit worried about Manchester United. So, Stefan starts in goal. We've got Cancelo, Diaz, Laporte and Zinchenko in the back four. It's Calvin Phillips and Ulkai Gundogan in the midfield too. And the captain's armband will go to Ruben Dias, of course. I don't know why. It's been taken by Calvin Phillips. Bernardo Silva in the attacking midfield role with Sterling on the left, Jesus on the right, and it's Ferran Torres through the middle on the bench. A very tired, tired Alexander Isak, De Bruyne, Rodri and Tierney. Stones and Mares will be the definites off the bench at some point in this game. So the atmosphere is rocking here today, I'm sure. Manchester City versus Manchester United, Derby Day, first versus fourth we've had a great start to the season but when we come up against the quality or more quality sides in Chelsea you'd say in Lazio we have struggled defensively I'm hoping to see something different today we are missing key players no Isak no Grealish 
which is big, big misses in the side. No Kevin De Bruyne either. We've gone with the best side we can possibly put out there due to fitness. And they will do a job for us. They will work hard. And I trust all the players at the club. I really do. So this is the Manchester United side. David De Gea starts in goal. It's Danny Carvajal, Varane, Hummels and Shaw in the back four. Danny van der Beek and Fred in the midfield too. Marcus Rashford, Bruno Fernandes and Jadon Sancho in behind Cristiano Ronaldo. On the bench, they've got Harry Maguire, Dean Henderson, Luis Alberto, Cavani, Alex Telles, Lingard and Mason Greenwood. What a Manchester United side that is. A couple of ex-Real Madrid players in there. They like building the former Champions League winning team, aren't they? of Real Madrid. So Manchester City versus Manchester United and it's live from the Etihad Stadium in a crucial derby game. Jesus. Chase with Luke Shaw. Oh, well done Jesus. Down to Gundogan. Bernardo Silva tests David De Gea. Well, Bernardo will be moving in January to Real Madrid. He will finally get his dream move back to Spain. Jesus in there and Fred not enough. Luke Shaw. All round Diaz. Oh, a good chance for Sancho. Poor shot, really. Diaz should do better. Ferran. What a ball. Jesus against Hummels. Jesus won it. Jesus across the box. Bernardo Silva. Great goal from Bernardo Silva. Who, like I said, he's still playing for Manchester City. He might be leaving, but he still feels the passion of these derby days. And a brilliant goal from Bernardo. To tap in, really, but he still had to put it in the net. Away from Danny Carvajal. Jesus across the box and Bernardo with a hit. Fires it into the back of the net. 1 0 Manchester City past David De Gea. No chance for the Spaniard saving that one. Big, big goal, that is. Big, big goal in the derby. It's Bernardo's first of the season. What a time to get it. We all miss his, his, you know, his energy and his engine in midfield. I feel. Van der Beek. Fred. Sancho, away from Cancelo. Van der Beek, back to Fred. Fred with a hit. Blocked away from Diaz. Cancelo can't avoid it going for a corner. You know, watch Cristiano Ronaldo here. Lethal in the air. Headed by Luke Shaw. Van der Beek back. Cancelo away. Oh, great work from Rashford. Calvin Phillips with the block. Fernandez, good tackle by Cancelo. Jesus in there. Little back heel into Bernardo Silva. Manchester City counter now. Bernardo. Gundogan, White to Zinchenko, into Sterling, got Carvajal for the beating I'm sure, you'd hope so anyway, here's Raheem Sterling, here's Sterling, Sterling, oh saved by the Gea, and then caught by the Gea, Sterling did test him, poor pass by Sancho up to Shaw and Kinsella intercepts that one, Rashford looks like he's been off the field there, not sure where he's been, well then Ferran, oh Laporte, Laporte, Rashford. Rashford scores. I merit Laporte. I had, a, I had a little um think. Do we start Laporte or Stones today? I started Laporte. Maybe that was a bad decision. Gives it away to Rashford. Stefan's always getting beat there. That's really poor from I merit Laporte. Gift wraps a goal for Manchester United. Rashford. Still Rashford. Still Rashford. Good block from Diaz. Zinchenko away. Sterling. Ferran Torres. Holds it up and then gives it into Raheem Sterling. Sterling. How's your passing? Brilliant. Jesus. Who created the first goal? Jesus. Gundawan Off the bar. Ilkay Gundawan. That was the chance to make it 2 1. Laporte tries to foul Ronaldo. It's not enough. Ronaldo. Marcus Rashford again. Zinchenko's pace. He's showing here. Rashford to the far post. To Sancho. Cancelo down. Bruno Fernandes. Bruno Fernandes. What a block from Diaz. Laporte. Oh my word. Laporte's having a shocker. That's half time. But I merit Laporte. He's having an absolute shocker. And I'm thinking of bringing Stones in at half time. I really, really am. Because Laporte has been terrible today. 1-1 one, one it is at half time. Rashford gets a goal. This gift wrap to him by I merit Laporte. Cancelo. Cancelo. Far post to Sterling. Nearly. Calvin Phillips beats Fernandes in the air, but heads it straight to Marcus Rashford. Counter Manchester United. Ronaldo. Rashford. Carvalho back into Rashford. Oh, they're pulling us apart here. Ronaldo. Well done, Diaz. Slowed them down. Fernandes. Sancho. 
Ronaldo. Diaz dives in, is it? Stones blocks the Fernandez shot. Well done, Stones and Diaz. Diaz steps in. Fernandez footing by Phillips. How is Bruno Fernandez this good on the ball? Sancho. Jaden Sancho. Wide past the post. Through to Jesus. Come on, you're going to blitz Matt Hummels, surely. Jesus, past Hummels. Jesus. Jesus. Oh, into Bernardo Silva again. They just get there ahead of us. And sell there ahead of Cavani. Vinchenko. Ferran. Bernardo. Over to Ferran. Vinchenko picks it up anyway. Into Ferran Torres. Jesus. Oh, into De Bruyne. What a smash from De Bruyne. Inside the box. De Gea. And we're making sure he's not saving that. And the substitution in the 89th minute. Could have given us a win in the Manchester derby here. What a hit. I'm about two yards out and I've leathered that into the top corner. I was giving David De Gea absolutely no chance. It's Jesus involved actually. I've been slagging him off. Played it through to De Bruyne. Well, I mean, look at that for a hit. That's like what the CPU does to us. Varane's flying in. I mean, he could have easily put that over the bar. He could have so, so easily put that over the bar. I hit that with that much power. A cracker from De Bruyne. Third of the season. 2 on we lead Manchester United. Let's sit back. Let's get this 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 result. Let's get these three points to end the episode. In the Manchester Derby as well. Three minutes of added time. Donny van der Beek. Oh, he's fouled, is it? Cavani. Fernandez. Van der Beek. Oh, he's, oh he should have gone down there, Donny van der Beek. Two. Two honest from Donny van der Beek there. That's a penalty. Zinchenko's fouled in corner Manchester United anyway. Mares away. Mares away. Referee blows the full time whistle. A 2 1 win in the derby thanks to Kevin De Bruyne. We're such a different side this season. The passion, the fight that we have. Nothing is stopping us. Solskjaer and Pep exchange a few words. But Pep Guardiola's men have picked up three points against the local rivals United. Zinchenko, that should have been a penalty at the end. If Donny van der Beek goes down, that's a penalty. Why he doesn't go down, I don't know. Three points, big three points at the top of the table. And that's our first big test in which we've passed against the side with quality. Thank you very much for watching. Please do like the video. Subscribe to the channel if you're new and you're not subscribed. And we'll see you guys next time.